Back talking SEC football here on Southeastern 16. I'm Chase Robinson, and as we've got you covered on all things SEC, we continue our three bold predictions. Today we're going to look at the Texas Longhorns, one of the two newcomers to the SEC. So I'll give you three bold predictions as we get ready for the Longhorns 2024 campaign. But first, I want to tell you about Bet Online. Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything online sports betting. Right now, you can receive a 50% free bet of up to $250 on your first deposit to bet on anything from the Olympics to baseball to Formula One racing. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads while the games are being played. When the game's over, you can go to the online casino, get in on a game of blackjack or poker, or one of the one of over 150 slots games. Head over to the website today to get in on the action. Use promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% free bet credit on your first deposit up to $250. That is promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V. Bet online. The game starts here. All right, so the Texas Longhorns, again, college football playoff team last year. They were the Big 12 champs a season ago. Uh, posted a 12-2 and record, only loss uh, in the regular season coming to Oklahoma. And, of course, they lost in the semifinal to Washington. And so this is a good group coming back. And so I think there's a lot of high expectations this year on Texas. I think they will be in the college football playoff. They definitely have a favorable schedule to help make that happen. But I've got uh, three bold predictions when it comes to the Longhorns here in 2024. The first bold prediction I have is that the Longhorns will hold their opponents to 15 points per game. Uh, now, last year, they averaged holding their opponents to 18.9 points per game. And, I mean, that that's, that's really good. They had a really good defense last year. They held their opponents rushing to 2.3 yards per carry. So, uh, really low numbers last year when it comes to the Longhorn defense. Now, they lost some big pieces to that defense. Um, but I think they have the pieces in place to be good once again. That's why 15 points per game is bold. That's what we're doing here, bold predictions. Um, so, I mean, that that's a low number. We'll see if they could do it or not, but... I say the Longhorns uh, hold their opponents to 15 points per game, a little lower than that 18.9 they did a season ago with that uh, really good defense that they had there in Austin. So that's my first bold prediction. My second bold prediction, Quinn Ewers leads the SEC in pass yards. There's some really good quarterbacks in the SEC this season. Um, Quinn Ewers a year ago had 3,479 yards passing um the schedule is different this year um i think they could be in some situations where they may be, have a big lead on a team blowing a team out we see arch manning come in some so that may make uh queen ewers stats look a little different uh but regardless uh my bold prediction that he leads the sec in pass yards queen ewers a fantastic quarterback and um, I, yeah, I really think Texas could come in the SEC and, and make an immediate impact and, and really change the way the conference has been the last uh, little while that, uh, that we've been at 14 teams. And uh, it's going to look much different now with these two teams. And Quinn Ewers definitely will make the uh, conference quarterbacks better playing a guy like that and, and having him in the conference. But uh, bold prediction. And uh, some would say that's not really a bold prediction because it really could happen. Um, but there's so many good quarterbacks in the SEC this year. You got Carson Beck, who's going to be throwing the ball a lot. Jalen Milrow is going to be throwing the ball a lot, as is Jackson Dark, Brady Cook, Nico Iam, um, Iamaleava. Number of quarterbacks. Quinn Ewers, though, definitely one of the best in the conference. Uh, but uh, my bold prediction, he. Leads the SEC in pass yards. And my third bold prediction, Isaiah Bond transferred to Texas. A bold prediction, he finishes as a top three receiver, not only SEC, but in the nation for the Longhorns this year. And uh, we all remember what Bond did, catching that ball according to the end zone in the Iron Bowl. 
uh, when he played for Alabama last year. He transfers to Texas, and uh, I think he will be a big target for the Longhorns this year from Quinn Ewers. And so, uh, yeah, I've got him in a bold prediction to be a top three receiver. Uh, again, not only in the SEC, but in the nation. And if Quinn Ewers leads the SEC in pass yards, well, he's got to throw it to somebody. And I think Isaiah Bond will definitely be uh, one of those main targets for the Longhorns this year. Also, you got uh, Johnny Cook and Silas Bolden, also receivers uh, there for the Texas Longhorns. But I think this offense is going to be um, is going to be high powered again this year. Of course, Steve Sarkeesian being the offensive mind that he is, um, you got to know that they'll have a uh, good offense. But uh, they had that good defense to complement uh, their their good offense last year, and that's really what helped them uh, get into the college football playoff like they did. And so, uh, those are my three bold predictions. The first one: the Longhorns holding their opponents to 15 points per game which is uh, close to four points lower than what they did a season ago. Uh, second bold prediction, Queen Ewers leads the SEC in passing yards. Again, some would say, hey, that's not really a bold prediction. That can happen, uh, but I do have that as a bold prediction. And my third bold prediction, Isaiah Bond, top three receiver, not only in the SEC, but in the nation. Again, this is going to be a really good offense for Texas, uh, a team that uh, very well could be playing a lot of football. Because uh, got the playoff now being twelve teams, you're going to play some more games, uh, so have some have a chance to uh, to pad some of those stats, if you will, playing more football games. So I'm excited to see what Texas does year one of the SEC. Again, they were a playoff team last year, winning the Big Twelve. Obviously, the SEC is is different, harder schedule. You got um, you got Georgia on the schedule. You got uh, Texas A&M, of course, Oklahoma uh, remains on the schedule. Uh, Michigan on there in a non-conference game. So it'll be a fun year for the Texas Longhorns. We'll have you covered with Texas football all season long, along with the rest of the SEC. We cover all 16 teams here on Southeastern 16, and we keep you covered not only in SEC football, but basketball and baseball as well. We've got uh, weekly shows for each sport in, uh, in conjunction with all the great videos we do each and every day for you here on Southeastern 16. So subscribe to our channel, like this video, you can drop a comment as well, share it with your friends, spread the word about Southeastern 16. Also, if you would like to sponsor our content, you can uh, email caroline.smith at southeastern14.com. And we can have those conversations about how you can sponsor our content. I'm Chase Robinson. That will do it for uh, three bold predictions on Texas. We'll have all teams, all bold predictions for all 16 teams right here on Southeastern 16.